Hello, daddy folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast video. And today, well, we have our first ever Todd Gilliland 38 Ford Mustang. And uh, first ever Todd Gilliland Diecast, that is, to my knowledge. Uh, you know, long term. Uh, or not long term, but he's ran a few seasons in the truck series, and it's really cool to see him in the Cup series. And wow, man, he has had some cool paint schemes, but this might just be the best one. So, without further ado, let's go and get this rookie diecast out of the box. Alrighty, folks, we're out of the good old box. And of course, this diecast review is brought to you by our friends at Circle B Diecast, which I want to say is actually somewhere on this car. I think they're on the B post. Yeah, they're right there. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you can uh, save on shipping, guys. That promo code down below. It's going to be very useful for your holiday shopping if you're a diecast collector, if you're buying for yourself or whoever. And uh, let's go ahead and dive into this diecast review. Over here on the nose, you have the first phase uh, card uh, decal there with the first phase card.com. What an interesting logo. Every time I see it, though, it think I think of the PlayStation, or like OG PlayStation logo from like the PS1 or the PS2. And I also think of the GameCube logo. Maybe I'm just a, I'm just a dork, but that's what I think of because I, I love the, 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 the older uh, gaming consoles. I got Ford right there. Uh, I got your front headlights. Got the Ford Pony galloping. Got the number 38. Uh, Sunoco. Yeah, front row motorsports, and uh, to my knowledge, this is one of two front row motorsports diecasts to actually get made. As of right now, um, this one and the Boot Barn, Boot Barn uh, diecast getting made. I don't think any of the McDowell ones are getting made. I could be mistaken. I mean, it's kind of crazy how, you know, as popular as McDowell is, that they wouldn't make a diecast for them. Kind of stupid, but, you know, it is what it is. So you got Todd Gillen right there. You got a extremely screwed up B pose decal. Oh my goodness! I mean, it is shriveled up like a prune, and that's clear coated. Like wow, that is sad. Uh, you got Boot Barn there. I honestly, I, it'd be better if I just sharpied it out. Truth be told, uh, FirstPhaseCard.com. You got this incredible. I mean, incredible paint scheme design here, where you have like this. Uh, kind of like a, like a desktop background effect. All these like pixelated digital dots that kind of whoosh and have you know gradients and transitions. There's some gray dots behind the 38 and behind uh, the door panel. It's kind of hard to see it on camera, but it's a lot more noticeable uh, in the studio lights. Uh, first phase credit card, Horizon Hobby, uh, Mobile One, Lincoln Welders, K&N. Uh, Sharon Williams, Mac Tools, and Racing Electronics. I like this little side skirt um, contingency panel, if you will. I like that idea. Uh, we've seen Truex have a, a contingency panel on the trunk. We've seen the JRM cars have a, a contingency panel on the back bumper uh, area near the taillights. So it's kind of interesting how the teams are uh, changing it up. You got Goodyear Cup Series 38, Speedy Cash. I wish we could get a Speedy Cash paint scheme and Safety Clean. Let's go over here to the caboose of the die cast. You can see the back bumper decal. Oh my goodness, the whole back bumper decal is, uh, it is not centered. Uh, this is the die cast centered. And you can see the 38 is literally on the right rear. So let's just, for all intents and purposes, let's just say the whole back end was damaged and it just got shifted over, right? <laughs> it's a raced version now. Uh, get first phase, first phase card.com. Get the Ford logo. I go over here to the right side of the die cast, and you can see the B post, and there's, uh, unfortunate, a pretty bad chip right there. The car is painted black, so that might actually come off. That might just be a decal um, piece laying over there. But on the B post, you have Ford. Uh, I can't read that one. I see the circle B, and I think it's S-E-M. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, but regardless, man, what a cool-looking paint scheme. It's not like... What are those cars that are just kind of flashy, like a Kyle Larson, HendrickCars.com, or or maybe even a Voyager Landon Castle? But it's just one of those subtle paint schemes that you kind of see, and you're like, wow, that is pretty cool. Um, personally, do I like this one more, or the Boot Barn car? Probably like this one a little bit more in terms of design. Uh, but I, I, I kind of want to save that um, that uh, verdict for uh, that diecast review coming up down the road. Can see the 38 is not centered, and there's something really interesting with these uh, the roofs on these Ford Mustangs. I'm sure you probably have one of these in your collection. If you don't, I hope you can eventually soon. But this little roof flap right here is actually goes down, so there's a little bit of a bump. It's really weird. It is not a dent in the die cast metal. I've stripped these Ford Mustangs, 
and um, it, it, it is just, they all have this. So this is a part of the, the normal die cast mold. It goes down. The other one is not as uh, pronounced, so to speak, but it is really interesting how like the roof flap has like a uh, pretty, pretty significant uh, divot there on the roof. Uh, sorry for the bump there. Get firstphasecar.com. Gilliland on the back window. It is so cool to see Gilliland back in the 38 car. I mean, his dad, for those who don't know, he drove for Robert Yates Racing, which was uh, from the year, what, 2006, 2013, I think that's when he ran full-time. But anyways, he drove, um, or not for Yates. Yates folded in, what, 08, 09. But he drove the M&M's car before Kyle Busch came on board. It's out on the pole for the 07 500. So it's really cool to see him back in the 38. I really hope they get a chance to do a Robert Yates um, throwback. Uh, Firstfacecar.com once again. And it's a really cool paint scheme. Again, it's, it's one of those cars that is very subtle. You kind of need to see it in hand uh, for it to be worthwhile. Because if you look at the car from like this far away, you're like, oh, it's just, it's just a plain Jane glossy black paint job. No, there's a lot of detail uh, on this side panel that you really don't get to see until you hold the die cast in hand. Um, do I expect this car to get rare? Well, I'll, I'll be really shocked if they do make an Authentics release for it. I could see the Boot Barn one being an Authentics release. Um, I don't think this one would be. Could be completely wrong. I've been wrong numerous times, uh, but I have no idea. I mean, the production numbers for these next-gen cars could be uh, significantly higher, could be significantly lower, I'm not sure, I just know they're not making uh, a lot of paint schemes that uh, some, you know, people would like to have, a lot of the back marker cars, unfortunately, are not getting made, but some of them are, so, I don't know, it could be different, could be the same, my point is, is that I really have no idea, <laughs> so, um, yeah, what do y'all think about this car, uh, feel free to comment down below, thank y'all, uh, for watching this diecast uh, review as we just dropped the box. That's always fun. I would have loved to see a, a, a more detailed uh, box, though. I, I really miss the, the colorful boxes we had in 2021. Those were so cool. Kelly, please get back to some colored boxes. I mean, you, you compare this to a 2008 or a 2009 box design, it's, it's not even the same planet. I mean, these literally look like they look like they printed them out and the, and the printer ran out of color ink. That's what it really looks like to me. But as we've mentioned before, it's either they make the budget cuts on the boxes or they make the budget cuts on the die cast. I will go for the box 10 times out of 10 uh, in terms of, you know, what needs to be cut to, you know, somewhat keep the cost down. Because uh, everything going up in inflation, they have to cut something. So I'd rather it be the box be sacrificed. But uh, that's all for now, fellas. Thank you all again for watching. Have a great one out there. Diecast Buffet, sign off.